Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. Uh, continuing with from last week, uh, which was a New Year's Eve celebration. We are continuing where we left off in Skyrim. I am joined again with Daisy. Hi, I'm still here. Um, I changed some settings on the mics, so hopefully there won't be that echo. Uh but there might be noises in the background because where I'm recording, there's a fireplace. And my sister-in-law is trying to figure that out because she wants cozy fire during the winter. We're cold, okay? Gorgeous, gorgeous girls get cold. So where we... I can't hear Skyrim. You can't hear Skyrim? No, can you turn it up? <laughs> I can? Perfect. Okay, um... So I, I, I'm back on board with you doing the Brotherhood, if you would like to stop doing the college quest. Oh, I'm, I'm already in the middle of doing the college quest. What Brotherhood? The Companions? Oh, the literal Dark Brotherhood. Oh, oh, oh. I was you thinking mean you're about... not chaotic like me and you don't stop doing things halfway through because you get bored? No, I was <laughs> thinking about um, doing the Dark Brotherhood. I just don't know if I'm going to join it or destroy it. Uh, I would say do it. Because, like, destroying it's not going to be a very good, like, on-stream moment, unless... Like, I can't think of a good playthrough for that. To join it or destroy it? Destroy it. <coughs> you get more from joining it. Uh, I don't even remember what we were doing, though, honestly. Well, what quest are you on? Good intentions. Oh, find the Augur of Dunlane. You could probably end it there. That, that seems like a good stopping point. Also, I really enjoyed this part, like, the mid-in. And I, I actually explore explore it thoroughly. Be able to jump that. I know. I'm just trying to see like, what is that? Oh, he's second I... place. Wow. That did me not a lot of good, huh? Did my flame anarch just not listen to me? Flame atronarch, I should say. Open the mid and dark. I've done, I feel like I've done the full, um, College of Winterhold quest before. I just don't remember. Uh, go down. No. Uh, da -da -da. full on maze. Oh! Wait, no. What? Go back to the door. Yeah. Uh. Very well. <laughs> what? Oh, I just gotta stand in front of the door, and he's yeah. like, "Ah, yeah, you can come through." Use him saying no. Actually, there's a pretty cool little like Easter egg down here. Um, after you're done doing this quest. Okay. Who have sent you have not told you what they seek, what you seek. I know what I'm seeking. I am seeking almighty power. Indeed. I can't wait for Elder Scrolls. So are we on Elder, on Elder Scrolls 6 or are we on 7? Wait, what? Which Elder, Elder Scrolls, Scrolls game is it? 5. Oh, I can't wait for Elder Scrolls. It'll be a nice game to play when I'm in a retirement home. <laughs> Elder Scrolls 6 won't come out for forever because 5 never gets that 5 never stops being good. Did you get the joke? <laughs> what? That it's, it'll be a good game to play in the retirement home. Oh, yeah, it's not going to come out until come we're until we're almost dead. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like first of all, Bethesda back then was just owned by it wasn't owned by anything, I don't think, right? Now Bethesda is owned by Microsoft, correct me wrong. If I'm wrong. Oh, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure. I'm like almost sure Bethesda is owned by Microsoft. I'm gonna do a Google check on myself. His path will cross yours in time. But like, but first, it's basically a uh, an instance of need. don't like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like you, they're not making a new game because Skyrim is so good, the and there's 
besides a new story and new quest, there's nothing that needs to be improved, especially when modding exists. Mm. So people just keep adding on to the game themselves. And... Bethesda probably sees that as like, well, what's the point right now? We're not in a rush. You guys are making your own fun out of this. Like, Okay, so in 2001, Bethesda became its own in-house development team to Bethesda Studios. And up until 2021, they were. it doesn't say that they were owned by anyone else other than themselves. And then in, in 2021, Microsoft purchased, purchased them. Purchased Bethesda. Bethesda. Well, they purchased Zenny Max, which is like the media company, I guess. It'd be, um. But I have a feeling that that is why won't get another Elder Scrolls game for a while, just because, <sighs> you know. Why? Because they're... any development we might they might have had on the game would now need to be approved by Microsoft before release, and possibly. I don't know how that shit works. Like, per, like, I don't know how that works in depth, but I could see that being a good reason of why. Well, I, I, I honestly, like I said, I honestly think it's just because Bethesda sees all the mods and stuff and all the fan-made stuff. And they're, like, literally the 10th anniversary of this game, the addition of that of this game, was just fan-made stuff added to it that people that Well, yeah, wanted. and that's the thing, but people don't, like, that's exactly it, though. Why are we going to pay continue to pay for Skyrim when we can get all this shit for free? Um... So at one point somewhere down here, there are like rings that you can put like student rings. Wait, can I just like, if I do a conjuration right here, does something, <laughs> something happen? No, you have to put the, you have to find the rings and you have to put them in the offering box. Um, so just, nope, that's empty. Uh, let me look it up because I know like. Like, look around that general area that you were just in. Um, there might- there should be rings somewhere around here. I'll look it up. Well, if there isn't, that's fine. No, oh, because it's cool. It's- it's worth your time. Start knocking all the candles down and start- everything starts on fire. No. My flame at your, uh, at your It's night. an unmarked quest, so you have to- there's a Daedric Gauntlet underneath the Winterhold. So oh, you have to discover it. Yeah, you have to find it. Um, it's in the mid and dark. It's a Daedric Relic in the center of a room. In the center of a room, up upon a pillar, stands a gauntlet with the Daedric letter Oat glowing in the palm. On a table nearby the Dragonborn will find the Midden Incident Report which details the fate of deceased students surrounding the relic and the investigator's key. Um, so... Oh, the rings are in the Arcanium. But yeah, if you find the, uh... If you find the gauntlet, you can put it in there and then you, like... And then, uh... And if you get all of the rings and you put them on the relic... Bellic Sand, which is, a uh, Daedric, the Dramora. You can buy stuff from him, and he. Uh, you can either kill him or you can keep him as a spell, I believe, and then you can summon him. I'm rereading. All I know is that now I gotta, I gotta talk to. Uh, oh, oh, my new homosexual lover. No. What? Feindal's gone. We don't. We're not. You're not fucking him. Oh my lord. Oh, he's another dark elf. Keep it pure blooded. Oh my lord. There's so many better pure bloods you could fuck. This one's ugly. Uh, yeah. So, um, you can find the staff of Magnus. Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff. Maybe we should do like an entire stream one time of just like those unmarked quests and those small things, you know? Oh, I I do plan on doing the small shit, like just exploring and finding small quests. Right, because clear, like I clearly would like you to do the mid-end quest I just told you about. But, um, I want to do all the danger quests and I want to do all the dragon masks. Oh yeah, well I've done all the dragon masks quests to the point where like you, you take them and you get the wooden one and all that stuff. I've never done all the dragon masks, and I've never done all the J danger quests either. I haven't done all the danger quests, but I've done most of them. Um, 
My favorite one is the cannibalism one. I really like the powers you get, but it's very handy, and it works similar to the werewolf di dynamic power, whatever. Um, except you don't have to be in werewolf form to feed. But yeah, we should definitely do a stream at one point of all of those small quests, whether it's just like after we do a quest line or what have you. Speak with Maribel Irvine. But it's also important if we want to do the dragon priest and stuff because like because of the main quest line and other quest lines you're gonna come across dragon priests and stuff. Oh I mean we so you need to hold on to last that. Time. Yeah, so you need to hold on to that stuff, which is why it's important for you to get a house as soon as possible. Even if we don't use it for anything purpose other than storage. Well, you can't get rid of I don't think you can get rid of the dragon mask. No, you definitely can. Oh you can? You, 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 I mean, like, it's as simple as just, like, dropping them somewhere, or... I don't think you can sell them, per se. I'll look it up, but yeah. Oh, she's sleeping. Please oh. don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Yeah, sorry. Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? Uh... I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it. Though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. We're the and Synod. Yeah, the they spirit. they do not... They, fancy themselves the they are able to be sold, and years. you you can buy them back, but that's not worth it. Noise in oh, exactly. <laughs> Imagine getting a Dragon Priest <laughs> mask, you're like, oh, this is dumb, and you just sell it. Oh, I accidentally. And done. I, I know I've done it on accident. They seemed and then you're like, oh, shit, I need that back, and the Riverwood Trader guy's like, ah, yeah, 2,000 gold. No, not even two. Powerful archers looking to consolidate power. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. Did you know that we were Dragonborn? I totally forgot about the main quest. No, we are Dragonborn. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. Well, I mean, I guess you're playing on... Oh, never mind. Does PlayStation 4 have console coming? Have what? Console coming? Or is that just PC? I don't know how PlayStation... That is just a PC thing. Okay. Uh... Downstairs. Yeah, because if we're playing on PC, I would say, oh, don't even worry about it, because you can just come bring a console command back. That's cheating. How is it cheating? Because you sold the mask by accident, fair and square, and now you gotta sit there feeling like shit because you sold the mask. You sound like those people who think time traveling and crossing is. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with time traveling. Oh, I have to. Uh, you haven't discovered any of the other places yet? No, we've only oh been. Oh my god. Okay, so go to White Run. Well, go to the stables. No, I know what I need to do. Go to the White stables, Run stables and then just travel to each of the places. Well, no, I'll just. That makes your life so much easier if you do it right in the beginning. Also, how much gold do you have? Buy a house while you're there. You have to do a mission to do the Windhelm one. No, I'm not talking Windhelm, White Run. Buy the house on White Run. I don't have the rights to buy that yet. Yes, you do. No. You get them as soon as you kill the dragon. Okay, well, I'm not going to buy a house in White Run. I don't need to right now. Ugh. I'm not struggling. Because I don't have enough gold. Sounds like an excuse. Man. It's not an excuse. I don't ha I don't need to buy a house right now. Ever, man. Okay, <laughs> take me to take me to Windhelm. Need a I can take you to... Where do you want to go? Windhelm. Windhelm. And helm. Climbing back and we'll be helm's only twenty gold because it's uh I'm in the back. It's... You gotta actually climb out and hit you. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Yeez Are you ready to experience racism? Oh I've I've experienced it. I've played as an orc before. I saw a chart recently of how which races are which made up in Skyrim and Apparently, Argonians only make up two. Argonians are very rare to find. Yeah, I actually. guess. I married an Argonian. I play through. And they're normally, they normally make them evil, you know? True. Uh, okay, so. You know what would really help you right now? A horse. Clairvoyance. Why? <laughs> I know where I'm going. 
I'm just making it's, There's it. no question where I'm going. Real ones, no. The one, the girls who get it, get it. Get what? Clairvoyance? I guess you never know. I guess not. Oh, man. There's a house. The house off in the distance over here. If I end up running into it. Oh, yeah, I will. If I go this path. Oh, hello. Are you the cure? I've been looking oh, for you. what the hell? He just it. runs oh, out. comes from nowhere in the middle of this storm. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, okay. What did he just give me? Uh, I don't know. Look at it. Anonymous letter. No, this one's the... <clears throat> no, you already got... Yeah, that yeah, one. That's that. Uh, no. No, I knew that one. Nope, I know that one. Nope. Whatever you don't need, you should drop. A thief, maybe? A right to, not the right of ceiling. Are you sure it's not? Warrior's challenge? Oh, it is. Oh. The one was thief. Long ago, my ancestors built a great hall on the mountainside north of Bill Gulch Mine. They called it H Hendraheim, a warrior's home that re rivaled Sovngarde itself. At the last of my clan, I wish to... Be is home to a true warrior. You are not a Nord, yet I've heard your prowess in battle rivals that of our most legendary fighters. I ask you to prove it with your blade. Uh Okay. So I guess maybe there's a house I can get if I battle. Oh, there's a heard they reforming a dawn guard. Vampire Oh, vampire hunters. You wanted me to do something about that, didn't you? Braidwood Inn. Started Dawn Guard. Oh, please, can that be the next thing we do? Uh, after the College of Winterhold? Sure. You want to be Vampire Hunter? I'd be va actually. I'm fine with being Vampire Hunter. I, th I think you'd like it. I've only ever been a vampire, <laughs> so no, that'd be ironic. Me being a necromancer and well, kind of a necromancer. I mean, not really. Um. Oh, I'm glad that we're out of the star. Oh, look at the pretty moon. Are there are like two moons. Or we just have one. And it's just always there. <laughs> no, I think there's... There's a cave. There is a dragon. I just heard a dragon. Yeah. Hold up. I see a dragon head thing over here. That yeah, works. it's going to be a dragon. Probably oh, where I can kill. Oh, yeah. Look, 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 look. Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to fuck with the mammoth. Yeah, uh, there's going to be. Is there a giant nearby? Probably. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe if you get lucky, you can provoke the dragon to come over. I think. I don't think. Oh. And then the, the. the Maybe he'll fight him. I want to see. Because this is a word wall. If, if there's a dra- there's a word wall. Is this a family friendly channel? Uh, no. Okay. Everything is marked 18 plus. Okay. Then I'm just gonna bring this up because I was reminded of it. At one point in 2019 TikTok, there was like an account that made dildos and they made like corn dildos. And I just desperately wish they were still around. I think they got like- Where is your brain sitting at that you <laughs> just remember that? Where, because I remember people being so mad about the corn dildo. And now every time I see a picture of corn, I'm like, I wonder what happened to that count. Did they get banned because of TikTok's new guidelines? Or what? No. I just, I actually literally just saw a TikTok. Well, no, but I've seen, like, they used to. had a dildo in it. No, like, they used to make them, and then they'd show it, and then they would get in trouble for it. They, so I'm thinking the account got banned. But yeah. So How do I get up there? There's literally a path? No, it'll really help you right now. Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance. Um, but yeah. But yeah, no, I miss that account because people used to get very mad. But they used to make different food shapes of dildos. <laughs> just sitting here <laughs> talking about Skyrim. <laughs> and then randomly just... <laughs> corn shaped dildo. <laughs> oh, here we go. Listen, I told you my ADHD was really bad. And the only reason it stopped is because I got tired and I was hungry. Uh, there is a dragon somewhere around here. I don't know where it went. It's gonna come out and attack you pretty Uh, frost. Frost breath. Oh, oh I... do you plan to, like, use shouts? 
<laughs> I have not used. Some people like don't use shouts in their playthroughs. Oh, ice form and frost breath. Huh. I don't know what the difference is. Um. Oh, there he is. Oh, buddy. So glad that this is just a normal dragon. Imagine. Oh, it's Snoot. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Hop on the head. Don't hop on the head. Oh! It says I have a dragon soul, but it won't let me. Unlock Maybe it's it. a glitch. Go kill the giant now. We're saving. Go kill it. You think I could? No, but I think it'd be funny to watch. I have a dragon soul. Oh. I'm like, not afraid of the giant. I don't. I'm not afraid of the giant. What I'm afraid of is this thing. Why? Because ma oh, because man. Getting mad at you. I tried fighting a mammoth <laughs> last stream and I almost got my shit wrecked. See, I told Carson. I was like, oh, if you're gonna do a conjure playthrough, then you need to get conjure weapon and just do dual casting. Let's try this. No, 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 no. no fuck. He's gonna chase you now. No. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> do you think you can do it? No, but it'll be funny to watch. There's do it again. the reason I saved right before doing that. Do it again. No, I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> Let me do it. Yes. This is, what are you at, level 10? What level are you at, Carson? 11. 11? <laughs> oh. Why did you put your sword away? Didn't mean to. Bad dog. Stay down. In. You know, you could just sneak over there and raid his chest. I'm good. I'm just gonna mark his camp, though. Literally, you're already right there. You might as well sneak over there. I'm not gonna steal. No. Why? I'm not gonna steal from his chest. Pussy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah? He's got a whole ass horse <laughs> on this fire pit. I've killed this one before. I'm sure you have. You know, there's a house you can get and there it's right by a giant camp and you have a chance of walking out in your house and you just, there's a giant who comes attacking you. Uh, also that house is like, it's my favorite because it's the most chances of something weird happening. God, there's wolves everywhere. Stop putting your weapon away. No, oh, I don't need to. What? Fuck is that? Is that another giant? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this person over here is like, I'm gonna. What's a milk drinker like fight him. doing out here? Oh, I'm oh, not fighting man. everything I see. Why? Because you never want to fight me. No, I don't want to fight you. Yeah, but I think you were you were telling me this morning you were gonna suplex me. Into bed. I was saying I was gonna suplex you into the bed. And then you're like, I'm gonna want to fight. You know that audio from TikTok from South Park? Which one? No. Check your mouth, fat boy. <laughs> you and I are on two different sides of TikTok. <laughs> it's a South Park one. Okay, hold on. I'm looking up the, the house. <coughs> okay, so it's a plot of land, but it's called Winstead Manor. Um, so you're right by, you're like right by a, a giant camp and you're also right by a, like the, like, this is the thing in Skyrim too. When you have a house and children, you have a chance of your spouse being kidnapped. What? That, that's a thing. I've had my spouse kidnapped before. I've never had that. Yeah. It's like you come home and your children are freaking out and they're like somebody took papa or mama and you know i think i've heard you know what? i actually think i have heard of that and then they give you a ransom letter or like some shit or you just like get a ransom letter oh they mean do that um sometimes your kids bring home pets like my my kid had a pet skeever oh yeah, i lived in my basement um 
my other kid adopted one of the dogs from the Dawn Guard because I didn't want him to die. I was like, can you adopt him, child? Also, I give my my children daggers and stuff. Mother of the year over here. <laughs> and I like give them poison and just like different things. I'm, it's very fun. Share oh, the it's a dwarven. No. Oh, it's this quest. Find Baratus. Yeah. In it's this quest. Oh, and then he just dies. Okay. I don't want your robes. Um, I wanna look up where weird spell things that can happen in Skyrim because I think it's funny. Do you do you ever watch Epic Nate on on YouTube? No. Uh, he's my favorite Skyrim YouTuber. Very well known. Oh God! Oh shit! Ah, okay, we're good. This guy died. Uh, the same same way that I almost just died. Almost getting skewered. I like this quest. I like Dwemer Ruins. Thank you, Flame Astronarch. <laughs> I like the I like the Dwemer Ruins solely for the fact that I get lots of soul gems. Oh yeah, you'll need them for this playthrough. If you're not using normal weapons, you're using enchanted, aren't you? Well, enchanted weapons would be normal weapons, just enchanted. And yes, I, I mean, I, wa I would like to use enchanted weapons, and I might, but I mean, I've just been using my conjurated sword. Is this the quest where you get the thing to control the spiders? What's up? Is this the quest where you get the staff to control the spiders? I, I don't know if it's a staff that controls spiders. It's a staff. There is a staff that controls spiders. This isn't where you get the the Magnus, is that, if that's what you're thinking. Do you have chapstick over there? Do I have chapstick near me? Yes, I do. Oh, thank you. Isn't it, don't you like having a boyfriend that just has chapstick always near him at every moment? I just like having a boyfriend. I can relate. You like having a boyfriend too? I like having a boyfriend too. <laughs> your boyfriend yet no this spider no weird uh, ah spider's dead no more boyfriend yeah I'm looking I, at weird. I can't ever i don't have another companion i'm kind of lonely oh have you ever had the um random event where you run into victoria vici before before you murder her victoria like the the wedding girl that you murder for the dark brotherhood no you do oh, first of all, you know what quest I'm talking about, right? Vaguely. I did the Dark Brotherhood stuff once. Okay, so there's a quest where you murder Victoria Vici before her wedding. She's the Emperor's cousin, and that's the whole reason they get him to come to Skyrim. But there's actually, like, a random event where you can run into her before, like, you get the quest. I've never heard of, it, of doing that. Yeah, I've done that before. That one's pretty common. Oh yeah, you can get a you can get attacked by Morang Tong assassins in Soul Steam. Oh god, oh god, I am going to die if I do not. I oh. forgot. I hate these bug things. Oh, you've run into Maik the liar before, though, right? What's up? You've run into Maik the liar, right? Not that I know of. What the fuck? How many actual playthroughs of Skyrim have you done? I've done a lot of playthroughs of Skyrim, but I don't play them long enough to have random events like that happen. But that's the thing. Random events can happen at any point. Well, I just haven't had them happen, I guess. I really like Skyrim random events. Although, I like... There's this mod I play. It's called Immersive World Encounters, and it just adds a bunch more random events and quests, and I love it. There's one that makes the dragons bigger, and I... I oh. What the fuck? Oh, 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 I'm glad I moved out of the way. I think you should get married in this playthrough. I might. I just might. That <laughs> might be like the last thing we do. I don't think that should be the last thing. Oh, God, I hate these I think things. you should do it while you're doing a big quest just to see who would show up at your wedding. 
on play Matronarch, help me out. What's up? Is your shell? Oh yeah, I have those. We just talked about how if you're gonna implement them in this playthrough. I forget that I have shouts, honestly. Just favorited. It is favorited. And use them. And it's, it's selected too. I just forget that to I heal. have them. You know, something I like about Skyrim over Fallout is that you regenerate. You don't regenerate in Fallout, and it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I oh. love Skyrim. No more bugs. More big bugs. Um, I remember playing the Dwarven Quest, you have to- oh shit. Playing the Dwarven Quest, you have to play for, uh, the story mode. Mm hmm And having- oh god. Uh, that yeah. resists the frost breath, okay. Why did you not use anything else? Because I didn't <laughs> think of it. I have Ice Form Throw Voice. Uh, I would just use Unrelenting Force and just push them back to give you a chance to heal. <laughs> Is that your flame match or not? Yes. Do I have... And I have no food. Oh, have you done no, Bohethia's Calling for like the for the uh Daedric quest? Oh, thank you. The what quest? The Bohethia is calling. I don't think I've ever done that. And I'm just gonna regenerate real quick. That's why I told you to heal. I don't have. Oh, you know what I literally have? Literally have healing. I literally have healing. Have healing. I forget that I have these things. <laughs> it's actually because I don't use restoration. Yeah, but like rest if you're gonna do a magic playthrough, you either need to focus on your healing or learn to do potions. And basic healing potions aren't gonna be hard. No, I just have to eat the ingredients that I come across. And, no. Yeah, if you eat Yeah, burn. that's not gonna do much for you though in the long run. Yeah, well, I'll get four you different had, you have more luck eating ingredients rather. That's what I'm saying. Are you talking eating ingredients or food? Eating ingredients. Well, even then, eating ingredients, because not all of uh, them... I discovered uh, damage stamina, uh, restore health, and damage stamina. You know you can actually find recipes to make potions. That's stamina. not as fun. Or you just experiment, yeah. If you know one thing has restore healing and the other one has... Restore stamina. Odds are you're gonna oh. get some kind of res restorative. Frick. I don't personally play along with that too much, but I do enjoy s stealing ingredients from people. What was the point of being in here? Uh, you gotta. Oh, Dwemer chat. Oh, uh, amulet of. I was about to say, why the heck did they? I need to unlock that. If all that was in there was ore, which I don't use, or ingots. I mean, <laughs> I don't use ingots. I don't. I don't smith. I don't do smithing. Yeah, you also don't do. I I definitely don't do smithing because that's just a grind. Take it down. Awfully quiet in this dungeon. I kind of hate it. Ah. This is one of our. You know what quest I love? It's a soul steam quest. I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm gonna. A what? It's a soul steam. I'm probably saying that. I have no idea what. Soul steam. I yes. I have a speech impact. of my teeth uh also when i was younger i didn't like reading out loud apparently is like a big way they teach kids to pronounce words oh yeah uh or they like at least they used to so um for a long time i just read things and i didn't like reading out loud so i would mispronounce things because 
I didn't read it out loud, I only pronounced it in my head. But I still kind of do that. Yes, I want to learn Adept Conjuration. There we go. Now I'm a level 12. I should definitely be able to go take on those giants. Oh, there's an alchemy table down here. And another thing I got to unlock. There's just a really cool um, puzzle in Soul Solst Time. Uh, it's a Dwemer one where you have to uh, get across these magic platforms in time where you fall. Also, oh, yeah. also one of the main um, quest lines for Soul Time when you go to get the magic black books, or whatever. Um, oh, it's in. Where you like the fill the fill the room. Yeah, with yeah, water? Yes. That one. I really like that one. I'm not usually a big fan of puzzles because I have not a big brain. Solstheim, the, 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 the black book quests <laughs> are very fun. Are very fun, but I had played it on the Switch and my What's game... What's your problem? They're, so they're, dark. Well, no, it's not just that. The game... Those things pop out. There was a bug. There was a bug and I got stuck on a level and like there was no getting past it. There was no fix. I was just stuck. Permanently. Well, now you can try again, and we'll make sure we get the save point. Come on. What is my flame, flame extra? Thank you. She's like standing over there, just watching me get my ass beat. Doesn't give a fuck. Good? Like, Jesus. Okay, um... I'm good. That's to me. We're almost to where we need to be. Oh, the Falmer. Poor Falmer. I don't... I don't want anything to do with the Falmer. Yeah, I hate the Falmer. Snow well. This is the, the, this is the lift boilery. You know what I'm accepting is that we're gonna at one point have to fight one of those dwarven guardian things. The, yeah, well, the, it's like guaranteed. The giants. Oh, I love Dwemer. But, you know, I do not like the bugs or the Falmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like the... the... I want to say Falmer are susceptible to fire. Uh, I think they are. Um, look the... it, do you want me to look it up for sure? These things. I don't like these things. Car... Taurus. I almost looked up Farmer Weakness. <laughs> what are Farmer's Weaknesses? I would have been put on a fucking watch list. <laughs> uh, the main weakness is that they're blind. So muffle, muffle enchantment or spell work. So sneaking and spell work. Oh yeah, I'm wearing light armor. Well yeah, but do you want to wear heavy armor? No. Maintain oh, enchantment. Get back here. Don't you dare run away from me just because I was gonna play your ass. Oh. Did oh, you mercy. try the sneak method? Did you even try? No, they saw me before I even <laughs> like they saw me. If you just sneak all the time, then I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna sneak all the time. Why? Because eventually if you sneak all the time, you can up your sneak and you can roll. Oh, yeah, if I get that high, if I do it that high. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Because sneak is very useful. You know, you only get so many perk points, right? You can... So? First of all, yeah, you only get so many perk points, but then that's what then what you do is you make a skill legendary and you get those perk points back. Right, and you can make a skill legendary as many times as you uh, want. So I'm just saying, why not put energy into sneak, especially if you're doing a mage? But it'll help you. I, okay, but look, I would do that. I would do that. I would do the legendary thing if you kept the perks when you legendaried it, but you don't. It just resets it back to zero and has a neat little label of legendary. You get That's 251 it. perks in, in game. There are 251 perks. Which means a maximum of 80 perks can be acquired. Yeah, so you get 80, you get 80 perk points. Eh. There are 250 perks, but you can only use 80 of them. So what are you trying to focus on? Right now, just mad, just destruction and conjuration. I haven't even touched armor. Oh, fuck. <laughs> A 
and now I'm using restoration. I don't have Fuck off. Just die. Just die. God, I hate these little gremlin fuckers. Okay, so we'll definitely need to do healing. Is I'm a just, ward? I, I am just upgrading what I'm using. Wait, the most a ward of. spell is under what? Conjure? Ward spell? Yeah. I have no idea. Why don't you check, Gro? You have a ward spell. No, if you actually have one in, like, learned. You had to do it for the beginning of the quest. So there's a ward quest conjure. No, it's alteration, right? Yeah, I think it's... No? No. Restoration? Yes, lesser ward. Okay, I thought for some I reason... I use ward spells, though. You would think for some reason that they would be conjuring because a ward works like a shield. So when it yeah, be but restoration. But that yeah, would make but sense too, because you're. It's, uh, I'm sure you can get a conjure shield spell. Oh, I'm sure. I'm not even gonna attempt to fuck that door. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing lock picking, but I'm just really doing stuff that I'm upgrading stuff that I like. There's no active. Um. Okay, so. <gasps> If you do stealth, you'd be able to, like, get a better jump on your enemies. But I don't stealthily attack enemies. I but just, you could. I, but I don't. That's not my playstyle. That's you, the thing. Is that but I'm you not could with the mage. No, I like to just run in and, with guns a blazing. That's how I play. I don't I don't think my shit through. I, it's attack first, think second. Okay, I guess. So That's then why do you magic. want... So you want to do lockpicking? I might. Like I said, I'm just upgrading stuff as I... Whatever I'm using the most of. Yeah, see which one I'm doing. So I'm not planning anything ahead right now. Like, if I start using... A lot of... Lockpicking... Because I don't lockpick a lot of stuff right now. But if I use a lot of lockpicking... I'll, uh... Start upgrading it. But until then, I've just been upgrading Conjuration. Because I'm having no issues with Conjuration. Yeah, I know I've been poisoned. I've been poisoned this entire time. Oh my god, and this thing... Get away from me. God, I hate those things. Oh my god, there's another one behind me. Oh, it's a Falmer. Never mind. Ugh. Good. Good? Oh, I got him. There's another Falmer. He's got a bow and arrow. He could fuck my shit up at any moment, and I'm not gonna let him. I fucking go! Just right in the neck. Ooh, I'm almost level 13 already. Whoop, and grab that. Do you know offhand when the. the cultists come to it? What cultists? The. Cl your ex cultist? Not offhand, no. What cultist other than like that's the only no, what I'm not into deep Skyrim lore like you. I don't think that's deep Skyrim that lore. Is deep Skyrim lore. How? They literally come and attack you once you reach a certain level. I vaguely remember the cult I vaguely remember cult stuff. Okay, um I wanna see what this oblivion binding does. Yeah, they'll automatically show up now because you all I feel like every game Skyrim comes. All the DLCs. Oh, wait, what oh you have to start the Horn of Dragon Windcaller. That is the uh, the uh, Greybeard's quest. Yeah, after you, at some time after that, it says. I thought like Dragonborn was the original DLC it came with. It was. It was. It was Dragonborn, and it was a Heartfire. Heartfire. Heart Heartfire, and then Dawnguard were the three original DLCs, and now there's the um. And the anniversary stuff. Right. I need a key, apparently. I'm starting to realize that I've just watched too many Skyrim videos and have done too many playthroughs of it. Yeah, I've played I've done a lot of playthroughs of Skyrim, but I I've can't watched tell a lot. you <laughs> I, watched... I can't tell you offhand random Skyrim lore. <laughs> and those memes with the it's like telling your data about random Skyrim lore.
Well, that that sex was poggers. But can we get back to talking about <laughs> Elder Scrolls Five, <laughs> Four? <laughs> Babe, come back to bed. Sorry, I can't. I'm not done telling you everything about Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. Fuck, that's so hot. <laughs> that's why I do it. I'm not done reading random facts on the Elder Scrolls wiki. <laughs> I don't even read them. I just watch videos. Like I used to watch Epic Nate every time he released a video, and he does like five random, five random facts you didn't know about Elder Scrolls Five. And now I watch them and I'm like, yeah, I already knew that. Yeah, I already knew that. Um, Are they actual facts or are people just making assumptions based off of very little evidence? Uh, it depends on the situation because sometimes they take stuff from other Elder Scrolls games and Elder Scrolls Online and include it as canon. Sometimes it depends on how much stuff is observed about it. Um, sometimes I used to watch... I used to watch this guy called, literally called ESO. British. And I had a big, big crush on him. ESO Guides. And he has 1.9 million subscribers on uh, I gotta get, I gotta like just, or get, take all the, take the enchantments <laughs> off. Right. But he, I used to watch him play Skyrim and he like, he played DLC and he used to do like where to find everything and stuff like that. And then I, Steve, I can't, I can't do casual Skyrim watching because then I just want to play it. And then sometimes though, I'm like, I'm in the middle of another game, so I can't play it. Like one of my favorite <laughs> Skyrim playthroughs is... Team train speedrunning it. Oh yeah? And it's really funny because they like they play it on PC where you can glitch the shit out of it. And so they're just glitching stuff constantly to get through the game. Uh, yeah, I Oh, didn't mean to do that. I think Oops. part of my my problem is uh I have now watched so many playthroughs. I have to remember what's modded and what's not. Usually that's pretty easy to do. But like I forget like my Animals. favorite Is that you? What? I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. Oh, thank you. It's not your friend. Hey. What the What are you doing here? Uh, he's dead. It was the Falmer, wasn't it? Curse them. They've ruined everything. I love how he blames the Falmer first the before, before me. There is no hope. He was supposed no. to return with the crystal. Maybe? No. I found him dead at the door and he was like, ah. I was like, you killed him. I'm an excuse. You Go further into this. Treasure, or wisdom, or anything. I'm afraid you've wasted your time. It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. What's the crystal for? It was for? a brilliant idea, really. Mostly mine, though Gavros took the credit. Secret, though. Official Synod business. Can't talk about it. Uh, I'm looking for the Staff of Magnus. Who are you? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I need the crystal to do anything useful. You I mean don't... this crystal that I picked up <laughs> off of a Falmer? <laughs> you found... How in the world? Some little that's goblin it. fuck had that's it. it. I don't know who you are. Excuse me, that's a snow I elf. This little Extra. A what? Fact, a snow elf. Who are you anyway? The Falmer are snow elves? Oh, gosh. Actually, I feel like I've heard about that before. Oh, the snow elves. Even grant us an audience with yeah, I, no, I've heard that before. You come here I don't know how I've heard that before, but I've heard that before. Heard the DLC of Fern Ungard. That's uh, probably where I've heard it. So maybe I could overlook the past. I'm gonna look at Encanto memes. Come on. Why? Why not? No matter what Gabriel that said, that movie is idea. in my head, the council is going and to I just can't get any of the songs out of my head. I was the one who thought of you know, this oculory. I don't know what the dwarves call. Just kidding. Something unpronounceable, I'm sure. From all our research, I saw this one joke, and it was like the reason Dolores didn't tell anyone about Bruno is because she wanted to know how the novellas with the rats ended. And then I got I gotta know. Gotta know the next part. I gotta know how this 
this drama with rats and so for now we're gonna keep Bruno inside the walls. Wakes up from a nice long nap, slowly gets out of bed and opens the window, looks at the new day outside, smiles, takes a deep breath, seven foot frame, rats along his back. Come on, come on. I am following this guy because he's taking forever. This is very similar to um, <laughs> where you get the Elder Scroll. Uh, this is where it is. This is not where you get the Elder Scroll. Is it? I don't know. They dump me on my Skyrim. Place the crystal in the central apparatus. You know that? Start the process for no way. This is no. I don't no, know. you don't get the Elder Scroll here. Where are you? In the the dwarven. What's the dwarven room called? Uh, I don't know. Can you look at your map for me? Uh. Okay. The Miz. I got it. Yeah. Don't tell me if it is. I just need to know if I'm right. Where's that guy? Where's that guy? Gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. What do now I do? The crystal needs to be focused. It was created so far away. We knew that some adjustments would have to be made. Heating and cooling the crystal will cause it to expand or contract, which will change how the light passes through it. You'll need to use spells to do that. Being from the college, I assume you know them all. <laughs> yeah, I totally knew that this entire time. Your training is even more substandard than I've heard. Thanks. Oh, that's why there was frost and flame. Jeez. What are you playing at? Is this some attempt to stall my work? No, I literally just saw something that you couldn't fucking do. So what is it? What have you done? I just. You oh know my god. Acting? Are you here to make sure your plan worked? That our efforts have been for nothing? Well, explain yourself. Dude, I don't know what that. <laughs> you better calm down, or I'm gonna freaking send a flame at you. I'm gonna send him flying, huh? And you want me to calm down? How did you do it? I haven't done anything. Must be something you're doing. There's no other explanation. You have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful, beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? Uh, the Eye of Magnus. The Eye of Magnus. Well, I suppose if that means what I think it does. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yes, the staff. Interesting. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. <laughs> I just <laughs> did this puzzle the Imperial City, with very little help from you. Idea. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical power. Okay. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. One is your college. The other, well, that can only be Labyrinthian. Love so, Labyrinthia. Mage from Winterhold. Despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. What Even little game? I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. Okay. So fine. Trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over. I assure you. I should just kill this guy. Good. I think you've been here too long. Am I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here than I could have hoped to. I think I know the meaning of the universe. Should I buy, buy a box set of... What box set? The Cassandra Claire, the Clockwork series. If you're they're your favorite books and you're going to read them, sure. Why would I do that? I could do it too. <clears throat> Carson has this great habit of every time we go to... Well, and I even look at a book, he's like, you want it. I even look oh, at I it. I can't fast travel. Oh, you're in a place. Why would you be? I don't know. Fast travel, you. What? Imbecile. What were you gonna say? Yeah. Like really? Was imbecile. imbecile the word that was gonna come out of your mouth? Yes. Oh, 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 oh I'm tripping balls. 
trying time. <laughs> Triple balls. He's Triple got, balls. He's got into that skooma. Rise to the challenge and discover what you are capable of. Oh, I know I'm fucking capable of. You are on the right path, and you will prevail. You know what I wouldn't mind learning how to do? What? Find a book. Oh, I've seen cool videos of that. So have I. Or like, I would like a flower press kit. That would also be nice. Oh, finally we're outside. I can fast travel. Why is it like, oh, go back inside. No. College of winter hold, fast travel. Oh, I hate these things. Excuse me. Big old bugs. Carson, where do you stand on buying your partner flowers? I'm just curious. I'll do it for special occasions. But you won't buy regular like flowers? Are you going to plant them? Depends on it. Well, first of all, it depends on the flowers. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Because I'm just curious because some people view that as like a pointless activity that you should only do on special occasions and even then. Okay, I view it as a pointless activity that you should only do on special occasions. Because they just die. Restoration you know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. But also, if you got me flowers, I would press them. Oh, I'd be okay with that. If you were like, hey, get me flowers because I want to press them, I'll go get you flowers. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just curious because I had a boyfriend who, every time he saw me, he had, like, had flowers for me. Granted, they weren't like expensive flowers, like $5 grocery store flowers that were halfway dead. That's sweet. And like, I wouldn't, if I didn't have cats, I would buy myself fresh flowers. I have three cats and that doesn't sound like a good combo. And as it is, I have fake flowers and Mischief likes to chew on the leaves. I like to grow things, but I do not have a green thumb. But I like to grow things just to see if I can grow them. Like last year I planted strawberries and I had no intentions of eating them. But then when they had strawberries on them, I was very happy about it. And then the birds and the chipmunks and everything used to steal them. And I'm like, that's fine, go for it. Or like the first time I pulled a carrot out of my garden, that was fun. Um, green beans, I love growing green beans because they just grow so chaotically if you don't do it right. Oh shit. Are you all right? Shit just went off. Can oh, everything walk? just exploded. Can you walk? I'm the one standing. <sighs> I'm on my feet. Carson, passing out in Skyrim. I'm talking about how much I like to grow things. I need you to find the Archmage. There's pressing matters happening right now <laughs> over your gardening. You see, there's a literal <laughs> vortex in here. Been here, been done that. Been here, done that. But you know what you haven't seen? My what? garden. Your garden? Actually, my garden's been destroyed. Is it a real garden or is it your Minecraft garden? I'm, it's a real garden. Excuse you. I was pissed because I bought the strawberry green <gasps> kit. No! No! From he Lowe's. was my lover! <laughs> I can't have anybody. Responsible for this? The Archmage dead? There's more. Something's happened to Winterhold. It must be whatever Ancano did. You need to get out there and make sure it's safe. No, Hayden, I've decided I had Fandle and Fandle died and he was my secret gay lover and I decided to adopt this man as my gay lover because he was also a dark elf. Did I not tell you not dead. to make him your lover? Did it's you know he was going to die? Yes. What does he have? I can't search him. Anyway. <laughs> I guess I do. Do you? Yeah, yeah. but. He... Yeah. Can't search him. I want... You can pick his body up and you can give him a proper funeral. Throw him off the bridge. Careful with that. Careful, lift him up higher. Careful with that. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it's okay. I'll take you back home. <laughs> give me a proper nap. I don't even have a home. <laughs> Look at him. Just throw him off the bridge. Wait, no, I, I would never. Uh, that's a proper funeral. I'm just gonna. My favorite thing to do is to get that. I'm just gonna become ethereal quest and then jump off the college of Winterhold. And um. You should save I... and jump down with him. 
I don't think he fell far enough. Nope. You should die. Should save and jump with him. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> It'd be the proper thing to do for your lover. Oh. Good. <laughs> you do it for me anyway because it's funny. And have a better life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that felt satisfying. Anyway, uh, where am I? Save and jump. I'm not gonna jump. Why not? I need to go. But if you save and jump, you literally have to go into town. So. I have to go into town and I gotta hold up. I can't. <laughs> Where? I'm not going to jump. Come on. Maybe if I knew. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe if I knew if there was water. You're going to end up falling anyway. What's down there? Water. Is, is that water? Yeah. Don't jump there. Yeah. We're going to save. Just in case. Actually, fast travel to. You should be able to fast travel to the college. I can fast travel to the college. <laughs> oh my god! I hurt my throat laughing. <laughs> okay, let's go. Fuck. You should some totally up. jump off the college when you're done with the quest. Though. I'm not gonna jump off the college. <laughs> Why not? You don't get that feminine urge to throw yourself off a high building. No. <laughs> I do that. Oh, all ice wraiths. Okay. <laughs> Magic anomaly. I thought they were ice rays. On the topic of me gardening, um, at one point we had this just like weed bed from the previous owners of my house, and it was just like really overgrown from like years. So I, in a weekend. Got my hands dirty, went and bought dirt and bricks and stuff. And I pulled all the weeds out and I planted fl wildflowers. And it's very pretty, but it all got ruined from that big storm before I met you. I'm gonna be patronizing just because every time you think I'm being patronizing. No, that's just teasing. Come on, I need, I need magic right now. I need magic right now. Do I should like, not be struggling this much. Do you like green beans? Do I like green beans? Yeah. Yes. If I planted green beans this summer, would that would Would I want them? Yes. Maybe I'll just plant green beans. I'll actually like put them in I'm like freaking die. I'll get like a thing for them, like a a metal thing to keep to grow straight. Cause that's why you that's why my peas were fucked up. Because I, oh, actually, I think they were Kentucky green beans, maybe, not peas. Uh, but they, I didn't have a trellis for them, and they just kind of grew wherever. Also, I grew tomatoes. I wouldn't mind trying that again, but tomatoes are so, like, finicky, and I put them out too early. Oh, my God. I'm really focused on my gardening. Yeah, your ADHD brain is, like, up the wall. That's why I'm good to stream with. I think. Would you rather me focus on Skyrim? No, this is, that's fine. I'm just, like... You can cut this out later if you want. One moment you're like Skyrim, and next you're like, yeah, gardening. Uh, I like gardening. It's even though I'm really bad at it, it's like art, you know. Like I'm really bad at art, but I love doing it. Oh my god. <coughs> ah. I'm here. Oh, this thing is running away from oh. me. I did not think so, boy. Boy. 
That's cute. Well, my melody bath bomb. Oh my goodness. Ah, Sanwido. Yes. Tuxedo Sam. Oh my gosh, I took him out. Oh. Uh, don't I want these things? Is a little obsessed. Oh, I would love a re. You look cool, me. Oh. I, sh I should really level up my light armor uh, at some point. What? Nothing. I am looking at some real things from a notable shop that I have bought for from before. So I know I could trust it to get here. God. I shouldn't. I don't know where I would put this. Open up the Hall of Elements. Put down those ten frickin' ice wraiths and- Oh, shit. Oh, oh my nine. god. Well, ah! Is everything out there I can right? do- Yeah, Winterhold is safe now. No, thank <laughs> you. Why were you just staying in here? Tolfdir and I can try and keep this contained. You need to get your hands on the staff of Magnus, now. Yeah, that's why I've been trying to do this the entire time. I'm off to Labyrinthian. What? Are you- are you sure? The staff is there. Yes, that was what I was told. Um, I have to go. What are you talking about? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm just. Gave me something just no, nah, I'm responding as my character. What are you talking oh. about? <laughs> I'm still on the Sanrio shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think he meant this for you then. I'm, I'm like, oh damn it, it's sold. Very personal about it. I'm like, ah, oh. ah, oh. should take this. Oh. It's hurting my, it's hurting my. I think it would do you the most good now. It's hurting my soul. Here. Bring back that staff before Ancano brings It's on my melody bath bomb. I like Karumi more. Also, I, I don't got, need you to oh, approve Savos. of my Sanrio purchases. You what head? Davos. Davos Seren. Seren's. And through Labyrinthia. So you should go to anyone and buy some potions before. Probably, yeah. Or really up your healing. I could get a pocket comb. I could get a, a My Melody pocket comb. There are many things I need to do while I'm here. I could get a cinema roll hand towel set for $10. You're, I'm over here playing Skyrim and you're window shopping. I'm win I was in purposely window shopping. Does that make it better or worse? Uh, that's up to you. Do you think on Kano knew all along? He's crying and up over here. Oh my gosh, where is your? Where's the uh enchanting? Enchanter's table. Money oh. coat. Ah. Oh. A thing. Oh, you maybe it's in the Archmage's over? quarters. What's up? You hear my heartbreaking? For what? San real thing I wanted. It sold. Not hear your heartbreak. That means you're just not attuned to my emotion. I guess. <laughs> oh, here we go. Arcane Carson's Enchanter. very, very attuned to any ladies listening out there. Oh. Now we've got a lot of, I'd say a lot of enchanting stuff, but now I don't have my cool gauntlet fists anymore. What? Uh, which gauntlet fists? They were spiked. Dude, you're supposed to get that for a quest in the midden. What's up? Did you get it in the midden? No. Oh, never mind. My conjuration is 52. Let's see if I can... Five, seventy. How long have we been streaming? Uh, for an hour and a half. How long are we streaming? Till ten, and it is currently eight forty-two. Not bad. Uh, destruction. I'm, I haven't been using. That's at thirty. What else is there? Chanting, but I haven't been actively chanting stuff. One-handed, and light armor. I could. I should probably do something about this. 
Maybe light armor. He wants to hear a rant about the church. I don't want to hear a rant about the Mormon church, but I'll literally hear about rant. I'll hear a rant about literally anything else. Oh, there's some potions oh, right I've here. Oh, I've decided I'm totally going to do a uh, bikini diva cosplay. Oh, yeah? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like a nude bodysuit to put underneath it. And just to be safe. A new what? Like a new like a nude bodysuit type thing. That's not gonna look good. Maybe not, but we're gonna try it. I also think I wanna get a nude bodysuit just in general, because I think I could do things with it that would look good. Um, but according to Megan, I should be able to and the rules, because I read the rules for Kitsune, as long as I'm complying with local guidelines and my nipples aren't hanging out. I should be able to wear it, and if my nipples are somewhat hanging out, I should wear past, 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 past whatever, the little stickers on my nips. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can wear a bikini top, no problem. I don't, but bikini bottoms are different. I could get some Daisy Duke bottoms. Good. Or I could just wear shorts. I don't care. Or I could just get a one suit. One piece suit. Yeah. I could do that. Um, I really like the idea of doing a bikini cosplay rather than a normal cosplay because it's going to be so hot in there. You know, and I'm pretty fucking sexy, so why do you not show it off, you know? At least I like to think I'm sexy. You're sexy. That's fucking lewd, Carson. We're on stream. You're I have COVID. No, you are, <laughs> no. I don't want to hear any of this where you lead me into something and then clap back at me. <laughs> no, that is a trap. Just like you earlier? What? <sighs> I forgot what you had asked. Do you think I don't love you? Oh, do you hate me? No. Uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't yeah, that. It was, it was when we were yeah. at Arby's. That's cool. I've been looking oh, for you. what the fuck? Something do you think I don't love you? It's fucking trap. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. This curry cake did me things. You know what he hasn't given me? Fucking Fandle's, uh, shit. You know what I mean? In secrets. No? None of those. Uh, it's a Falkreath letter. Dinner invitation? Yep. You have been court- Ah. You have cordially invited to dinner and drinks at Bloodchill Manor. As oh, this honor, must be from the new DLC. As a manor get yeah. As honor guests, you are encouraged to come early and mingle with the other attendees. When you're ready to f ask the house waiter for a menu and he will let you into the banquet hall. <laughs> Excuse the me. The finest and most delectable dishes will be on display. There will be no need for appetizers once everyone is ready and a full course of weights. Come for the dinner. Stay for the drink. <laughs> you know, for I know, you know, I think I think you should do that quest. You should take a break and do that. No, I, I want to finish. I'm almost done with the College of Winterhold. What? What are you ugging about? I sneeze. Yeah, I, yeah, it was a pretty intense thing over there. I'm allergic to bullshit. And you should constantly be sneaking at your own things. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> Still warm from the um, this is I'm breaking up with you live on Skyrim. Oh, <laughs> really? This man gave me COVID. Oh, he's stuck with me. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> you know, I wonder. Interesting, to say the least. What with all uh, the now I'm window shopping. On one hand, supplies are harder to come by. Why are you telling me this, dude? All that matters is that I'd sell my sister if I had one. Me, I'll I'll make all this treasures. Wait, no, I'm talking to the wrong guy to get potions from. I gotta talk to that one lady who is like specializes in this. Yeah. There we go. Arcadia's cauldron. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let you look rather pale. Take a look. What do you mean I look rather pale? Am I sick? I guess I was sickly. I don't know. Maybe it's because I kept getting poisoned. Because you kept those. getting poisoned, you idiot. Well, that all I know. The only thing I know about like that you can is like the vampire thing. Use pure potion of cure disease so that you don't get turned into a vampire. Ugh. And turned her on right as you groaned. Ugh. Well, you know, chat, I'm a little upset with Carson. Why? Because Carson doesn't want me to call him cute. 
He's a I little bitch, baby. I did not say that. I don't care. No, I don't care. It's literally... I don't want you to call me that. That is not. That is gaslighting. Are you gaslighting me, Carson? No, we... Carson, stop gaslighting I'm me. I'm not gaslighting <laughs> you. Ladies, he's a red walking red flag. I'm not a walking red flag. Okay, Joker. I never <sighs> said that. I never <laughs> said that. You would just automatically <laughs> Look how worked up you're getting. Like Look how of... worked up you're getting. Because every time I... You so worked no. up. Why, why are you getting so worked up if because you know it's not true? That every time Joker is brought up, you just go red flag. <laughs> You know what's a red flag? You window shopping. I'm not window shopping anymore. You're you're odd obsession with fan fiction. <laughs> Got a point. You want to know why I'm obsessed with fan fiction? Because I have an unhealthy romantic relationship with people. Because I didn't grow up with healthy relationship role models. So you read M. Prague, M. Prague <laughs> fan fiction. Exactly. I didn't have good role models. I didn't so have good I role like models. It. I like the idea of men getting pregnant. Uh. That's why I'm into BDSM. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. <sighs> hey, look, a new place. Hey, look. <laughs> hey, Don. Are you done talking about your trauma? <laughs> oh, not even. I haven't even gotten into it most of it. And some of it is just like so casual that I forget it's trauma. Like, oh yeah. You know, my dad used to lie to CPS to get out of like losing us. He abused us. <laughs> and like, Carson looks at me like, oh, what? That oh yeah, I was just kidnapped. That even be a thing. I was kidnapped. Oh, I already Why told you that story? I not have gauntlets on. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I told you that story. I was kidnapped. You've never told me the whole story? <laughs> oh, I don't have gauntlets on, but you know what? Fuck it. <clears throat> yeah, I was uh, legally kidnapped by my mother. Oh, well, you never told me the whole story. You just told me it happened. I can tell you it on on, on stream. I don't if you would like that. I don't mind. I'm... On stream, go ahead and You know, I can't your... get much worse than me sh telling the story of how I shit myself on stream. Oh, yes. You did tell, tell the story about how you... Um... So, when I was about, I want to say 10, maybe 10, because we still lived in the trailer, and I didn't move, we didn't move to the trailer until I was 13. Um, I turned 10. My mom and dad got together briefly. Like, they were together my entire childhood. Um, they broke up shortly after I was born. And uh, when they got married, that granted my mom full custody of us. Le like, because uh, there are two different types of custody. You have parental custody and you have like legal physical custody. You always have parental custody unless the courts specifically tell you other way. And parental custody is just like uh key changes. So like if my dad were to try to change my religion or like put me in a different school or move me to a different saint, my mom would have say in that versus he had physical custody of me. Um, so I gave her full f physical custody of us, meaning she could take us across state lines and not have to inform my dad. So what she did, um, and mind you, there are two parts of the story. What I happened to me and what I was told and then what I pieced together over the years. So what she told me and my sister is that we were going to go see my Aunt Georgia and my cousin Leandra up in Michigan for my birthday. And I was like, fuck yeah, packed all of our shit, which... I did notice, but I didn't think anything of it. Um, and then we drove, and her, um, friend Greg, who was not her friend, well, it was her sugar daddy. Uh, I'm not even kidding, this man was, like, in his 50s, and my mom was, like, early 30s. Uh, but he was good to me and my sisters. Like, he was her best boyfriend. You know, he treated us really well. And he always get, I'm pretty sure we were, he, he left us stuff in his will, actually. Because, like, he was a huge part of our lives when we were younger. Um. But he picked us up. We drove up to Michigan. Uh, he literally lived down the road from my aunt. So we stayed with him, and we visited my aunt. And then we were there for, like, a week. And we started asking questions, like, oh, when are we going to go back home, you know? And my mom's like, okay, yeah, we live here now. Oh. And, and it rolled us in school up north, which is how my dad found out. Um, and apparently, and this is what I found out later, she had told CPS a bunch of lies about him abusing us, um, both physically and uh, sexually, which kept 
so CPS had to like find make sure that those claims were true before they allowed a, allowed him to e even attempt to get get us back and because it was a legal kidnapping the cops will not do anything unless they have a court order and getting a court order is extremely hard and because my mom took us across state lines that makes it even more complicated um so as far as i know my my and my dad was unemployed by at this time it was like 2009 2010 you know like early recession days uh and so my dad like proves to the courts and everything he gets a court order and what they do is they put us into an actual lockdown they tell us it's a practice but then they pull ava and i out of class um, and it wasn't until years later that I found out that it was an actual legit lockdown and they only told us that so we wouldn't freak out. Um, a lockdown for you? For the school. Yeah, I know, no, no, but to get you out of the school? Yep. What? Because they were, were concerned that my mother was going to show up. Jesus. Uh, um, and you know, we went home. And I remember like freaking out when I saw my dad because at that point I had been at school. I've been away from him for at least two months. Um, and actually, takes in like, sorry, takes in like, go on. An actual like side off in that story. At this whole time, my great grandmother, who I was very close to, was dying of cancer. And, um, we stopped to see her and she passed away like a few days later. Oh. And my dad is 100%. He's 100% like, yeah, grandma wait to pa waited to pass away until she got to see you guys. Um,. So yeah, that like that's the story of the time I was legally kidnapped, and my mom denied ever doing it. Like mom, literally kidnapped us, took us across state lines, and lied to CPS and the courts. And the only reason she didn't face any charges is because my dad didn't have any money to press charges. Jeez. Um, and like I have plenty of other stories about my mother. That I like have not even like I could write a book and I've considered doing that. <laughs> um, like when I was sixteen, she wanted to give up her parental rights. Uh, my dad refused to let her. But I th I told him that I regret him doing that. I was like, I wish you would have let her. Holy oh, it's shit. the skeleton dragon! It's the skeleton dragon. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, he's gonna kill you. I love that. You better put a healing spell out, babe. Uh, or I just use... I... <laughs> oh my god. Got him. Just like you. I'm just like you. Just Skeletons. like me, just Skeletons like are not a problem. Anyone can see. Why was I talking about my mom? I don't know. You got on the conversation of oh, we're talking about my poor, trauma. My, my poor fan. That's because that's why I read fan fiction. Yes, you read fan fiction because of your tra traumatic. That's why I have mommy issues. Why I want a big booby lady to step on me. Jesus. Well, let me tell you, I have a. Well, you've watched it. My I Resident watched. Evil 8 playthrough. You want to see Lady Dimitrisk and you want to get stepped on. Go check that out. Go check that out. <laughs> you have mommy issues too. As someone who has severe mommy issues, I enjoyed that playthrough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the Warrior Stone. Oh, no. What do I have? Yeah, I have the warriors. No. How much do you think of this we're going to have to cut out? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I cut out, I cut out if there's... Silence? If there's a conversation between you and Laura or Hayden who are not Mike, I cut that out. Fair enough. So probably not and that if much. There's any, if there's dead silence, I cut that out. Or if mm -hmm. there's if there's something that I just don't want in it because it's not funny, I'll cut that out I'm too. I'm hilarious all the time. What are you on? Got it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's a trap. Okay. Oh. Hey, get fucked in the ass by that dragon. There's no dra- Oh. Well, you didn't think there was a dragon before. 
I'm just like you. Am I supposed to melt this? I don't know, actually. I haven't played this plus in a long oh, time. Yep. Oh, fuck yeah! You don't have enough magicka! Get fucked! You're gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Gonna die, you loser. So we've been playing through Kingdom Hearts on our own time. Um, yes, and, and that's I... been hilarious to watch. As somebody who's never seen anything Kingdom Hearts related. And I'm only thinking about this because I'm thinking about how many times Carson died to that cup, cup enemy. The what enemy? I don't know. He, it was in Trevor's Trevor Town or whatever. Did you say cup enemy? Yeah, he looked like he had a teacup head. No, it was a knight. Oh, he looked like he had teacup. It was a, it was a armor. Oh. Instead of armor. Oh. I do plan on playing Kingdom Hearts at some point on the channel. But first, you gotta finish Let's Go Pikachu. Yes, and I got I gotta finish a lot of things that I want to play for Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts. If you play Kingdom Hearts, would you just do one game or would you do like all the oh, games? I'm gonna do all of them. That's fair. But some of the games, like, on the remake, they aren't even games, and I don't want to go through playing Free Chain of Memories, which is the second game, where mm -hmm. the battle system is card-based. Oh. And it, oh my god, it's bad. That sounds it's awful. so bad. I hate card-based. Like, like, I don't, I don't want to say I hate card-based games, because I play Magic the Gathering, but I'm not well, the no, biggest- Well, no, it's not like that. What it's like is, like, you basically build a deck of different attacks, and well, you yeah, have to it sounds like fight. it does sound like fight. and the Fire Emblem's not card-based. Um, uh, there's this game- It is tactics, like Fire Emblem. Um, it is, like, strategy and tactic, which I so hate. Oh, there's this game that, uh, um, Uh, Teppin. Teppin's like you build cards and. Build, Teppin? Yeah. I think I've heard of it. It's awful. God awful. Never, don't ever play that. Red flag. Red flag if you play Teppin. You Literally. Hear that? Yeah, it's paid Oh, Jesus. Must I use this um. Language of yours? Someone is not happy that I'm here. It's me. I'm not happy. Can I? Oh, to update you on life since last stream. Um, so after our last New Year's stream where we played Skyrim, as whoever has watched the previous video will remember, um, we both the next day woke up with sore throats, Carson more so than I, because uh, obviously we talked for five hours. And then Sunday, um, other people in the household were feeling sick as well. And we got COVID tested, and bada bing, bada boom, we have COVID. So this past week has been nothing but sick. I mean, I was like badly sick for only a few days. But I'm, I was still sick. You were sick much longer. I than was I sick was. much, much longer. And you still kind of are compared to everyone else in the household. Yeah, which I feel bad about. Even though I know I don't have to feel bad about, I feel bad that I'm still sick. Like, oh shit, come on, dude. Even though I literally can't help it, I've been doing everything I can to not be sick. Including sleeping eight plus hours while Carson is at work. I take a short nap, a six hour nap while he's working. Um. Oh, what the fuck? And COVID was not fun. Uh. I'm saying past tense because I feel much better these past two days than I have the past entire week. Um, and that's mainly due to me sleeping, and I, I think. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, COVID, not fun. Although I'm still pr pretty certain we got the new variant of the Omicron. Because we of didn't- Omnivore. Omnivore. Because we didn't lose our taste of sense of- We didn't lose our senses of smell and taste. No? And also, we're vaccinated. We're also we vac fully vaccinated, except for our boosters. And Laura had her first booster. I'm still not entirely sure if I want to get my booster. I mean, I'll probably get it. I'm I'm still like, do I still want to get it? Because I've had COVID. But I probably end up doing it. Well, you can get it again. I haven't had my booster at all yet. Oh, you can get, your co you can get COVID again. I know. But I also I went three years without having COVID. You 
you know? Like, I literally used to work heavy retail, and I didn't get COVID, and then I spend, like, fucking three weekends with you in a row. Oh, holy shit. Well, I wish I had a friend, so I didn't get spooked. I didn't get freaking spooked. Oh, 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 oh no. There is someone spilt their ketchup all over. Oh no. Or I guess I'm not. Maybe not. Um, I can level up. I'll level up. Yeah, I've really I've been using a lot of one-handed, so I'm gonna try to upgrade that a little more. It's actually kind of nice that you uh, upgrade your one-handed one hand kit. What the fuck? One hand gets upgraded even if you use um bound weapons. Could you not? Oh. There you go. Oh, hello. So what is this about you? You don't beg for kisses. I, why are we talking about that right now? Because that's what we were talking about before we, I went to the bathroom. I don't remember this. Oh, okay, gaslighter. I d I literally said you want a forehead kiss, and you're like, yes, please. And I made a joke. Oh. About how you beg for kisses? Okay, fine. I beg for kisses because I crave attention. Because you're a broken little man. I'm what? You're a broken little man. A break. A broken <laughs> little man. That's a joke. Kinda. Only slightly. He doesn't beg for kisses, but if I say, I'm not gonna give you any more kisses, he go he gets all pouty. Or if I don't kiss him, if I'm upset with him, he gets he gets sad. And then that breaks my little heart. <laughs> Arthur may not act like it because he's mean to me, but he's really clingy. <laughs> so yep. mean. Are you denying that you're clingy? No, I'm not denying that I'm clingy. I got a you can, cut, you can cut this out of chat. Daughter Death Lord. Why is he an animated like that? Because he's a <laughs> spectral. Well, then why doesn't it say oh. spectral? I don't know. You can cut the part about me making fun of you and... I saved Dick by giving... My flame would be great if my flame etronarch. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh, I got it. Got okay. a drugger death. Lord. I have some topics we could. You have some topics? Yes. Okay. Okay, one second. Time. Slow time. Uh, okay. I saw TikTok. Okay. It's been like, what, a month since No Way Home has come out? No. Less than. Okay. Close, but less than. We're gonna extremely spoiler, spoiler this for if some reason somebody watched it and has not seen Spider-Man No Way Home. You know, I feel like at this point, if you haven't seen it, it's either because you have been physically unable to go see it. Or because you just haven't had have like whatever reason, you know? So I saw TikTok, it was like Doc Ock after being returned to his universe with the arc reactor. Is that a thing that happens in the movie? Does he have He that? has an arc reactor, yes. The arc reactor or an arc reactor? I don't know if it's Tony's specific arc reactor. Tony's but dead. It, it is an arc reactor. Tony, I think it's just an an arc reactor. Because Tony's dead, right? Right. Okay. Is it clear what he's gonna do with it? No. There was a lot of things with No Way Home that didn't make sense because the whole premise, again, spoilers, uh, is like Peter's gonna try to save these villains. And so he he does, and then he sends them back saved. <coughs> but yeah. he sends them back to their original time right before they die. Reason 375 why killing the villains would have been better. Well, it's just, that's like the argument the entire time. And Peter's like, 
Peter's like, oh, I can't save them at first. And Aunt May's like, no, you got to save them. And it's like, no, but that literally doesn't make sense in terms of like time travel or interdimensional right. travel. Also, okay. what the fuck is going on? Oh, fuck. Okay. First. Oh, what I get Okay, myself second in? thing. We're only like, like we have like 80% of the ocean to go and explore, right? What do you think the odds We've are? We've only explored 2% of the ocean. No, it's more now. I mean, it depends on your definition of exploration as well, because apparently, um, We've sent like. Look up how much of the ocean has been explored. I did. How much of the ocean is unexplored and it's 80 r remains unexplored. More than 80. But do the fucking math, that's like 20% has been explored. Uh, 80% has not been explored? Yes. Okay. So what are you getting um, at? So, and they've set, they've set like remote vehicles and satellite imaging and shit, but we haven't like thoroughly explored it. So no, what we, are the odds? We can odds? only go so deep because. Yeah. So what are the odds mermaids actually exist? Well. What are the odds that something from human? I mean, there mermaids. Yeah, there's. Well, mermaids existing is possible. It's just not. It's possible that it's very also possible they don't look like how we depict them to look. No, like. definitely not because I. They would look more like sirens. <coughs> they would look more like yeah, humanoid. But you know. Oh, he's a dragon priest. Yeah, you didn't know that. Oh. oh. Um. Okay, or don't use out. He can absorb your shout. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Oh shit, I'm in the water and he's using electric. I'm not gonna do anything to you, Skyrim. Oh. Uh, there's slaughter fish in there. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, he, whatever he is doing to me. I hate it. Oh my god, I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so close. He's gonna come, guys. I got him. I got him. Search him. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, you gotta take that. Um. Well, no, there's a topic on that. Like, I personally believe that a lot of the cryptids and like myths and shit, that there are too many, uh, like, stories for it not to be somewhat true well that's hold up a second what am i drop this... those novice hoods does this get oh this gives gives me a hood okay um drop those novice hoods you don't need i was gonna sell them um no so just hold so with the mermaid thing there was a video that went these two guys went on like tv with that they were like underwater and they caught a mermaid on video and it looks super not real. Yeah. And yet the T this TV station just let that air and it kind of pissed me off. So I'm just like, mm, you can tell that's really fake. And they're sitting there like, yep, yep. We caught a mermaid on camera and it's like a very violent interaction. Like it like slams its hand against their window. These random dudes who are in a submarine, they're just random guys. They don't, <coughs> I don't think they're actual, like, it was like, it was like a hobby for them. It was yeah. weird. Um, um, but yeah, I, I mean, I think there's also an old documentary on like sci-fi channel, sorry, these friends. people and like, I'm all so the discoveries mockumentary. No, it wasn't a mockumentary. It was like mermaid. I don't know. Look up on YouTube like mermaid caught underwater. I don't know. Now you're good because I don't want to stay on that too long. Why? I have other topics. 
But you just bring you bring up mermaids and you want to stop that now. Okay, we can continue talking about it. Like what? It, like, I not, okay, not even just mermaids, but of anything that could be underwater. I uh, personally like am terrified. Big, big sea monsters. Uh, terrified. Big sea monsters still being. First, yeah. Underwater. Well, I hundred percent think that because look how how fucking big the oldest shark is. The oldest shark isn't that big. Oh yeah, you're right. But look how old it is. Yeah, it's like five hundred years old. Yeah, it, it's in Greenland. It's like the Greenland shark or something like that. It's like five hundred, almost five hundred years old. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I just, I just was looking right. into this kind of stuff. Right. And it's not that big. Like it's big, but it's not like monstrously. So you made it out of there alive. Or like, I don't know, just like things that can live very long. The ocean. Well, only that breed of shark. And are you thinking of Megalodon? No. Are you thinking Megalodon no. was still alive? No. Cause people think, well, no, people think like it could be alive, but there's like science proving that that wouldn't make sense. Is there? Yeah, because people are like, oh, it's just hiding deep in the ocean. It's like, but why would it be? Cause if Megalodon still was alive, it wouldn't live. We would know because it was an alpha. It was the alpha of the ocean when it was alive. Right, and that was a real animal. Right? What? That was a real animal. Was? Uh, yeah. Megalodon was a real shark. In... Me, the bay. I don't know. Like, I. Megalodon was a prehistoric creature that went extinct for unknown reasons. People think they went extinct. Well, like, they... look at alligators and crocodiles. Those things are from prehistoric times. Like, they've evolved very little. Oh, they got smaller. They got much smaller. I just think there's too much in the ocean to be like, yeah, no, mermaids aren't real. Yes, it is very possible that... And on the same token of that i think that the like like i don't think bigfoot is real in the sense of what they say like yeah, what do you mean bigfoot isn't real i mean i don't think he's real in the sense of what people say he is just like i think he's an evolved breed of like a uh, bear or i mean that's why people think like the skunk ape like it's like it's like a ver it's like a version of Bigfoot, but more ape than like humanoid. Right. Um. But like, I also like. Is there one Bigfoot, and he's just lived this long, or is it? No, they think that Bigfoot, whatever they think, the is... Bigfoot is like a species, a species of something. I don't know. I just like. I think if he was real, depending on how common it was, wouldn't there be more video evidence and shit? Better video evidence? I mean... Especially with technology? Yes, that's like the argument with a lot of these things. Of like, oh, if it was real, we would have better well, evidence. Well, like the ocean, I can understand the, the argument against that. Look, the things that we have found in the ocean already make me not really worry too much about seeing um, anything else in the ocean, I should say. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, like, there's videos of just, like, these squids with giant tentacles, and you, the video footage shows the tentacles just going straight down, and you don't see the end of the tentacles. I don't want to fuck with that. Like, yeah, but yeah, I or like the Loch Ness monster. I think the Loch Ness monster. I don't think Nessie. There's. I don't think Nessie's. Real. I used okay. to think it, it was, but logically speaking, there's nowhere in Loch Ness that something could be hiding and survive. Where do we sit on Mothman? Mothman is probably real. Um, probably real. I mean, like. Oh, you know what we should get into? That I, if we were to do this, I would get, I would do heavy, heavy research on it. Apple, Appalachian um, folklore, 
A Appalachian? Appala like Appalachia. Like the Appalachian Appalachia. Mountains? Appalachia, yeah. What about the Appalachian Mountains? Like the, like, folklore surrounding the mountains. Because there's, because the mountains are so old. And there's so many folklore surrounding them. It's insane. Also, and that would be something that if I were to do it, I would do it not only for stream, but for my own personal benefit, because that's actually where a lot of my family is from on my mom's side. It's from like the Kentucky and the, the mountains and shit. And as far as I know, there's nobody like distant enough that I would feel comfortable going to see them living there, but my Great grandmother lived there when she was a girl, and then she moved up to Michigan. Um, and I've actually uh, fact checked this, and I've went and I, went, I did like an ancestry thing, and I fact checked it against censuses and shit like that. Like I did a lot of research into it. Um, and my great grandmother, Eileen, the one I told you about, who I'm named after, after, moved here when she was about, or not here, but Michigan. She lives up north. Uh, and so, but they moved from Kentucky. And yeah, I've, I've watched, um, uh. Appalachian. No, because there are two different ways to say it. Appala Appalachia, Appalachian. 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 I'm starting to say it too much that I don't think it's a real word. So Appala we're gonna- Appalachian is the only, I've never heard anyone say Appalachian. Appalachian. Um. But like, I wouldn't mind doing that because there's a lot of folklore. You think I can't destroy you? The power to unmake the world at my fingertips. Do you think you can do anything about it? Seems a lot of things about what's going on in Appalachia. Appalachia. Is that Appalachian? Appalachian. You're just gonna ignore me because we already we already had a conversation about this earlier. How I have a speech in right, but that's just I, I understand. Up full I, on mispronunciation. Wrong. Right, <laughs> wrong. I am completely wrong, and I am admitting that. But yeah, um, now I'm gonna look up. Now I'm gonna. This guy is trying to fight me. Why can't I? Do I need to use the Staff of Magnus right now? I mean, I can. I want to see when they... <gasps> no! Tolderf! Die? Yes. Fucked. You're not doing your job because he doesn't die, typically. Things are not... Oh, he's not dead, I guess. What the... What am I supposed to... Am I supposed to... Okay, say... How do we say it one more time before? Appalachian. 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 They... Roughly formed 480 million years ago. Like, let's process that. 480 million. Like, I just. You know how old the Earth? How old the Earth is? Like billions of years old. Yes, but how old is like like I just I just find it fascinating. Because aren't the Apple? Appalachian Mountains considered one of the oldest? I don't know. I've never heard that before. Damn! There's a 3.2 billion, billion years old mountain range in South Africa. Really? Yeah, it's called the Barbin, Barbentone? Bar Barbertone? Barbentone? Greenstone belt. Ah, I got him. Oh yeah, Tolder is not dead. Okay, good. I would've been kind of pissed if he died because I think he just got in the way of things. 
What do we do now? I don't know. Ancana was gone, but whatever he's done to the eye doesn't seem to. Oh, okay, so I'm technically right. So, um, the Blue Ridge Mountains and at the app in Appalachia, 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 Appalachian, Appalachian, Appalachian. Uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains are 1.2 billion years old. Are how old? 1.2 billion. So those are the oldest. No, those are sitting at the ninth oldest. What is the oldest? The oldest is the one I told you. What one is that? The um. The eye has grown unstable. It Arberton Greenstone Belt. Point five billion years old. It must be. That's in South Africa. It, oh, and how old? One point. Yeah, three point five. Three point five billion. And the uh. Blue Ridge Mountains are one point two billion. At their peak. You have our gratitude, Archmage. Oh, oh, but oh. they're among the oldest of the earth, which is insane considering, you know, how many mountains there are in the earth. What are these guys about to do? Oh, you've done it. The college is safe again, thanks to your work. I knew you had it in you. I dare say the Sidics are right. There's no one more deserving to be Archmage, in my opinion. Okay. Here, consider these yours, and the Archmage's quarters as well. I shall be here for advice, should you need me. But there's oh. a lot of, like, like that's where Windi Windy Boys... Windigos? Windy Boys. You don't like... You don't like those, do you? Windy boys. Take care now. I'm super. I'm very superstitious. Hundred percent. Oh, I didn't used to be. Look how sick I look. Sick as fuck, my dude. I didn't used to be superstitious, but I. I don't know when I started to be. You know. I think it was when I moved out. To be honest. Oh yeah. I think. I think that's when it started. Like I've always believed in ghosts and things. Oh, I definitely believe in ghosts. I definitely did too. Um, I watched too much ghost adventures. I definitely just believe in like I'm very super. I was very like very believing. Like I very believed in those things. Um, obviously not like like things like I know Slenderman's not real. You know. What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we had this conversation Shut the fuck last up. time. No, Slenderman is not real. Um, um Wendigos, fuck off. <laughs> Wendigos can fuck skin off. Skinwalkers. Like a hundred same thing. Kinda. Hundred percent believe in those. You ever, heard, you ever heard of the show Lost Tapes? I have, but I've not watched it. It's so stupid, but it's so believable at the same time, but it's definitely <laughs> fake. And the first episode was the Jersey Devil. Oh my god, that episode always gave me the heat as a kid. Okay. Like, ugh. I hated everything about it. I got a bunch of alchemy stuff I can use. But one of the, I thought one of these. Craft. Well, like, and I believe in aliens, and I believe in, in like, government conspiracy theories. Shit like that. Um... Something we should definitely watch one day is Skinwalker Ranch. It's not a horror movie, but it's not, you know. Um. Okay, in Navajo culture, a skinwalker is a type of harmful which would, has the ability to possess, turn into, or disguise themselves as an animal. Hey. All these soul gems I get now because I'm the arc And a man. Wendigo is a mythical creature or evil spirit which originates from the folklore of the First Nations based in around the east, east coast, of course, of Canada. So that's where we get the skull animal form. Yeah, you know how you told me? Uh. Half of Frost. Jump off the. No, you know how you told me to go buy a house, so I don't need to park. Oh yeah, you can just store stuff here, I guess. 
it's more it's easier if you have a house especially if we're gonna do the dlc for earthfire down the road which i think we should do just for like a break episode in between things well i mean i can do because that. you haven't done it at all no i'm not i'll that's like one of the last things i'll do like buying a house is easy but there with earthfire you can actually build your house i'm just I thought stealing if you're poisons potions um yeah i own all of this now oh hello yeah i'm very superstitious like not to the point of like bruno <laughs> and encanto i'm relatively okay so we have about 20 minutes left it's 9 42. yeah oh uh, you just finished the mage guild quest line yeah i'm gonna you want to start or do we want to just, what do we want to do? Oh, I'm going to keep doing some stuff. I'm, uh, we can keep going. Well, no, I mean, did you want to start a new quest line? Or? I might. I, I'll see what we have, but first I want to. You can, I think you should go back down to the mid-in and explore a little bit now that you've done the quest line for here. So you're not going to come back here unless you're soaring stuff. But yeah, I would like to get into, like, I would like to do a stream one day where we do that. Play something real casual. We can don't have to focus too hard on. Oh right. And talk about that because I definitely enjoy talking about that stuff. I would just need to prepare for it because, like, off the top of my head, I can't think of much. Um, you know, actually, one of the prompts on Bumble that actually got me matched with one person before I matched them was like, "What conspiracy theory?" Even for sure, hundred percent believe they're real. The reason I unmatched with this guy is because he told me flat earth. I wasn't willing to take that as a joke. Right. I just go with a petty soul gem. Let me see if I can find the conspiracy theory iceberg. Oh, like, one of mine is, like, when I believe in 100% is, uh, aliens. 100% believe they're aliens. Oh, yeah. 100%. You can't tell me in this endless universe that there are not aliens. You know? Right. Or, like, another one that I don't know if I hardcore believe in, but I, like, I, you know, is this feral, feral people living in the in National Forest? I could definitely see that uh, be a thing. I pick. Oh shit. Uh Or like, who killed uh the Ramsey little girl? The Ramsey little like girl? Joan Bennett Ramsey? Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. Which I don't know. Do you know who that is? First of all, no. Joan Bennett Ram Ramsey. No, I guess not. Um. She was a beauty queen little girl. Oh, she's and the six. mom. Wasn't it the mom? I don't know. I could have sworn that, like, that no, was... No, it's unsolved still as of, you know, she was killed in the in, in 96. Oh, really? Okay. Um, And they found her body in the basement after seven hours after she'd been... In the, in the basement of their house. After she had been reported missing, she um, sustained a broken skull from a blow to the head, had been strangled, a uh, garret was found tied around her neck and then her official cause of death was asphyxia or strangulation um aphyscation whatever no, and I her death was ruled by a homicide was ruled a homicide and the reason it was like a big thing is because um her mom enrolled had entered her into a series of child beauty pageants okay side side bark uh or side off 
that um the, uh freaking you want to guest for dinner dawn guard and dawn guard let's start dawn guard you want to start yeah you want to be vampire hunters yeah because that's gonna bring you down a rabbit hole oh good it's a long quest line uh, yeah but you don't have to do it all in one go it's got like a big part of it like when I played this, uh, played that quest line on 360, there was a glitch, and I ended up with two followers at once. Oh. But yeah, like, who killed her? Was it her brother? Was it a mob? Somebody that hired? I think it was her brother. I, I thought think... it was very obvious that it was the mom. I think it was her brother. Well, that's, yeah, that's the thing. Or, um, Madeline McCain. You well, know? is that who I'm thinking of? Maybe who Madeline McCain. Where, like, she was like... Her daughter was gone for a long period of time. Oh, no, you're not even thinking of Madeline. But she, like, didn't question it You're at not all. thinking of Madeline McCain. Who am I thinking of, then? I know who you're thinking of, but I'll have to... You remember the kid's name? No. No, I don't... Those aren't conspiracy... Those are, like, cold case... Yeah, but... Um... But... Uh, depending on what you believe, it can be considered a conspiracy theory because, like, because they're unsolved we, and you don't know actually know what happened, it's a conspiracy theory. You get it? Like, we don't have proof that, um, her mo oh, fucking, what's her name? Were you about to say Hermione? No, I was gonna say Madeline McCain. That's not the fucking girl. I'm sure if I look, I'll find out. There's a lot of instances like that, though. Like, I don't even, I really wish I knew the one where they're like, oh, how did you not know? And like her car smelled like dead body. Like it literally <laughs> smelled like rotting flesh and she was in the trunk, like dead. Yeah. You know, I, like, I'm, I, f I know I'm not making I this I know up. you're not. Just give me a second. Casey Anthony. Yeah. That's what you're thinking of, Casey Anthony. Well, it was like like the mom didn't question the fact that her daughter was gone for like well yeah and she changed her story yeah and then she constantly changes her story yeah i'll i'll Where give it down where do you want to go i'd like to go to rifton no we should watch what? making of a murderer no why because i just don't like i don't like well, like you ever heard uh, heard listen to the podcast my favorite murder it's these two women that talk about serial killers and like it's interesting, but I can only take so much about hearing about that shit. That's why you would like the Chiluminati podcast that I listen to, because they don't just talk about murder. I don't think they do actually at all, but they talk about conspiracy theories and like things that are considered like Skinwalker Ranch, um, which is considered real. Uh, yeah. Also, back on Casey Anthony, uh, she in 2008 she made a 911 call, uh, by her her mom did, Cindy. Uh, they that they hadn't seen their granddaughter in 30 days. And Casey Anthony smelled like a dead body, and yeah. and Casey wouldn't give him a straight answer. And Casey lied to detectives, telling them that she had been kidnapped for a month, and she had been trying to fight, find her, and too scared to tell the authorities. Um, and she was charged with first degree murder, but she was pleaded not guilty, and she was found not guilty. Even though it was very obvious that she did it. Yeah. That's weird. They don't have the cause of death either. Really? Yeah, the cause of death by undetermined means. Um, they found duct tape near the front of her skull and on her mouth. The prosecution sought the death penalty against her, by the way. Also, her daughter was two. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me sick to my stomach. That's what I thought I just can't, like... I'll listen to a podcast that's about, like, um, cryptozoology. Like, like, cryptids. I'll listen to podcasts about, like, story, like, stories and shit about that, but, like, serial killer shit. Oh, you know what she was found guilty of? Four, four fucking misdemeanor counts of providing false information to a law officer. Oh. And she, oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure the only reason she survived the is because they had her isolated. There's a freaking vampire. Yeah. You're gonna start running into them more. Mercy. Oh. Fuck. Get back okay. here. 
I get so worked up. Because, like, granted, I don't know whether I want to be a mom anymore. Or if I want kids. But, like, God fucking knows, if I did have a child, I could never imagine hurting them or letting someone hurt them like that. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. I- uh, is this- is this part of-, the threat of It's a- Saturday. it's a random event that can happen, yes. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilance. But is this part of the for 10 year anniversary, or- I don't know. Providing healing and justice- As far as I know, the quest starts with you go to the Dawn Guard. Go to the Dawn Guard, and the Dawn Guard's up by Riften. Old Riften. It's in an old fort by Riften. For all of Tanriel. We actually have someone in the chat right now, and I just noticed that. Oh, fuck. Um, hi, chat. Hi, chatter. Uh, they asked it? if we're playing duo or some sort. No, I'm just playing single player, and uh, my Skyrim girlfriend is does not have co commentating with me. Sorry, chatter. We got, you caught, caught us when I was a little ripped up about <laughs> Kaylee Anthony. I don't, I don't think this, I think the Vigilant Vampire Hunter is part of the 10 year anniversary thing. You want me to look it up? Yes, please, because okay. I've never heard of- What else am I good for? Vampire dust, vampire armor, vampire boots. Did I just wear vampire stuff? No, I like what I'm wearing No, right it's now. part of Dawn Guard. What? Part of the Dawn Guard. Right, but- I Not just... part of the 10 year anniversary. Oh, really? Yeah. Vampire Listen up boots stuff or in Skyrim. Thalmor boot? How did we name that? Uh, like the Thalmor boot. Oh, I'm worked up. You're worked up because of talking about serial killers and stuff? I'm worked up about talking about someone killing their daughter. Oh, I think anyone would. Well, it's like the fucked up shit like that one husband that fucking killed his family and then put them in oil tankers. Oh my god. And then god. on national TV, like, just straight up lied. Yeah. I'm, okay, so I'm actually going to stop here because it is almost 10 o'clock and it's right before going to this dungeon. And, it's a good um, ending. It'll be a good next time. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Look at our beautiful man. Oh, the, sorry for getting so worked up, guys. The, oh, hold up. I need a good fur. There we go. Okay. Um, that's it. That's going to be it for tonight. It was a little bit shorter stream than I would have liked, but I am going to uh, stop right here. It's nearing 10 o'clock. Um, we finished the College of Winterhold, though. And Finally. so we're going to start the Dawn Guard next time whenever we stream this. Again, I'm going to try to be doing streams weekly uh, with or without Daisy. Um Hopefully, with this COVID, once all this COVID stuff is done for me and Daisy, I can get back on, like, regular recording, and I can, um... We can plan weekly. I can, well, not just that. I can record Let's Go Pikachu or stream that and finish that. Um, my one year is coming up on the channel in 11 days. It's on the 20th, and that's, like, a midweek thing. And so... I'm not going to stream on a Thursday. I think it's like a Thursday. Um, you could stream that weekend. But. Uh, oh, the chatter said cool stream. Thank you. Um, I actually appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to stream like that weekend or something. Oh, something is coming <laughs> at me. I'm going to stream like that weekend. Yeah, you could do it like oh, a weekend stream. Are you a dog guard? No. Who is oh. this? A Breton. He's got fucking dwarven armor. I couldn't tell. Um, so I don't know. I might stream a certain game to commemorate my one year. Why does he have dwarven know yet. armor? Huh. But yeah. I think that is that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you. Ooh, hey, hey, hold up. Okay. Thank you, everyone who was watching stream. I'm really enjoying playing through Skyrim, and I will play. I'll probably only play Skyrim when Daisy's over, cause she. I'm gonna make that. <laughs> she does enjoy. 
Skyrim I, as much as I do. I have a lot of on it. Yes, you do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for another episode of Skyrim or anything else I stream or record. Bye.